merluza a la gallega, ¿no? Sí. sí. She has potatoes ready to go. A lot of Galician food, because it's in the north, is is really um, heavy food. It's got a lot of carbohydrates and uh, lots and lots of fish. I think I'm in love with the thermal mix. Teresa is showing me she's just putting in the ingredients by the by the recipe and you clear it, it weighs each ingredient. So you put in the ingredient, then you clear it, and then you weigh the next ingredient and you just put them all in at the same time. This thing is awesome. And she knew exactly how many potatoes to cut, so we needed 800 grams of potatoes and then 400 grams of water and then one bay leaf and now she's putting in the onion how much 200 de cebolla so she she's putting in good <laughs> nut <laughs> so she knows exactly the quantities she it called for 200 um these are gramas okay gramos 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 these are two this is 200 grams of cebolla onion and so she put that in and now she's going to put in Perejil, which is Italian parsley. So now she's setting it up to uh, 22 cook. minutos. So this thing is, is weighed it. Now it's going to cook it for 22 minutes. And then we've got um, garlic and the rest of the ingredients over there. 22 minutos. Tempera. Espera que le ponga un gusto, una tapilla. Temperatura varoma. Uh -huh. Okay, so she set the time and the temperature according to the recipe. There's there's like a, a thing called a butterfly that's inside it. I'll show you maybe another time that covers the blades. And so it's gonna, it's gonna, you'll hear it. It's going around, but it's got this cover on the blades so it doesn't cut the things that are in the thermal mix um, bowl. Wow. Y velocidad cuchara, para que no corte las cosas, ¿sabes? So, and, and the velocity, the, the speed of it, is, is set with the, the little dial here in the front so that it doesn't cut. Okay, so the first 15 minutes have passed and now Teresa is putting the fish on the top of the thermal mix and it steams with the vegetables below. And I wish I had smell-o-vision because it is really smells tasty in here. When the sepia gets going, it's really going to be good. Our thermal mix merluza la gallega is almost ready and so Teresa is going to do the sepia la plancha now and then um, we'll finish off, you take, we'll take all of the ingredients out of the thermal mix in four minutes and put it on the platter and then we'll do the salsa in the same thermal mix bowl without washing it and then you get the, the flavor of the vegetables and the fish as well. So let me give you a little peek here. trying to do this without burning myself, but I can't pull it off. Let's see. Uh, there. Quick peek. So first she'll take out... Ooh, yum. She'll take out the vegetables and put those on the platter. And then the fish goes on top. And then the salsa that she will make... Ooh. Que bueno. We have um, the stock from the potatoes and the onions and then of course the fish um, stock dripped down into that. Ooh, this looks fantastic. Tenemos pan, verdad? Si. Sí. <laughs> I always have to have bread to, to soak up these wonderful juices so she said we do have some. And then on top so she wanted to also get some of the potatoes out so that the, so that it wouldn't overflow the sides of the platter when she put the fish in.
Qué rico, ¿no? Quema, quema. Hot. So she's just about got all the fish on the platter. I'm going to wash that up for us here in just a second. And now she's going to do the salsa. And salsa in, salsa in Spanish means sauce. I'm, I'm mixing words here. So she's going to leave all of the goodness in the bowl. There's the butterfly. So this thing here that I've got my finger on, it's called a butterfly, and it prevents the the um, blades in the bottom from actually cutting up the food. So T Teresa put in a hundred grams of good, really good Spanish olive oil, and it's warming it up and moving it around. I have no idea what purpose the moving it around has, but it is. And then this top allows you to drop more ingredients in while it's still processing. So we'll put in the, <coughs> excuse me, pimenton, which is Spanish paprika, dulce, the sweet version, not the smoked version, and 40 grams of garlic, which is prepared and ready to go. So here's the finished product. Teresa did the, the sauce, the salsa in the thermomix it's simply um, ajos and uh, sorry garlic pimenton dulce hola. hola and good good olive oil and it smells fantastic i can't wait so here's the resultant comida comida doesn't mean food in spain usually it means typically it means lunch so, we have a great salad, sepia la plancha, and I think this is homemade mayonnaise in here. Let's take a peek. Yep, it is. Homemade mayonnaise, merluza la gallega, pan, and wine. Mm -hmm.